I'm going to share with you the items I got at the Goodwills that I went to. Some of the selection at one of the Goodwills were not real great for home decor, but I'm also trying not to buy a whole lot because I really don't need more stuff in my house. If you've been following me on Instagram and on my stories, you know I've been purging and decluttering quite a bit. I've never been one to have a lot in the first place, but I just need to simplify, really think about what we really just need in our home. Um, that way I don't have to stress about stuff and I can spend more time with family and devoting my life to things I believe in and what I want to do. So anyways, I'm gonna share the clothes first and then some of my home decor pieces. So first clothing item I found for myself is this really adorable pocketed blue jean skirt. It is tighter on the waist. Um, I did wear it one day being pregnant um, up higher. It's not going to fit real great right now, but it was two for a dollar there. I got two things for a dollar in that one section, and I just thought this would be so cute. And then after baby, I'll still be a little bit bigger, so and it'll be summertime. So I thought this really nice knee-length skirt would be adorable to wear, especially with pockets. All right, and then the other item that was that two for a dollar, I was shocked, is this black gap vest with pockets, which is awesome. And it fits me now, like vests, I feel like you can wear your whole pregnancy, especially in the winter, as long as you don't zip them up. So I really like this puffy gap vest for 50 cents. Um, and last item for myself, I found this today. It was in the skirt section. It's a Segu, I don't know how you pronounce that, brand. It's elastic, stretchy, black. I've been looking for black skirts to wear around the house. It goes a little past the knees, but I thought right now I could wear it over my baby bump and I thought it'd be so adorable with even like this sweater that I have on, tuck it in and it'd be so cute with some leggings. Um, and Goodwill, I think, is $4.25 for skirts, so that's what I spent on that. Okay, then just to my daughter, she needed a few items, but then, of course, I had to pick these little cute overalls up. It had no size, so I, I don't even know what size it is. They might be a little small, which would be a bummer, but it would work for an extra little one. Yeah, I think it's 2T. And she's like a 2T, 3T right now. But they're just really adorable little overalls. And I think um, baby clothes or toddler clothes are 2 25 I want to say. Alright, and then I picked up a brand new sleeper. She is so tall that a lot of 2T stuff don't fit. Or she had a lot of 24 months still. So this is 2T to a Carter brand. I don't really know what that means. So I got that one. And then this is a Joe Boxer 2T, and it just looked a little bigger, which I think she needs because she's tall and a little more broad. So I got those two items for her. All right, then to my home decor. I am so excited about these copper measuring cups. They were $3, and um, I don't know what brand that is on the bottom. If you can read that at all, I don't know if it even, I haven't opened them yet, but they're just so adorable and I love that copper. I might even just use them as display. So adorable, so cute. I literally snatched it up as soon as I saw it. And then I've been looking for a little step stool, but this is more of a foot stool, but still I really thought this was cute. I don't know. I don't even know if I would put new fabric on it or anything like that. It was $3, but even putting a plant on it in the corner or something like that would be really cute to display or use it for Nevea to sit on or something. I don't know. Just a really cute little step stool that I couldn't pass up. Then I found this cutting board. I'm sure it's not vintage because it's too nice for that, but I will definitely be oiling it, washing it and oiling it because I am not a huge fan of the lighter color. Again, another $3 item. It already has a thing to hang it from. It's really light, so yeah, it's probably not a vintage piece. But I thought this would be really cute for pictures, for display, just to add on my 
um, countertop, something like that, even though I like a minimal countertop. I don't know. Again, another pickup that I probably didn't fully need, but I really like it and I thought $3 was a pretty good deal. Okay, I am already to my last item. This is a $4 picnic basket. It is in pretty good condition, truly. There is no liner on the inside. If I get it. But I thought for a spring decor, and of course I'm always looking for more storage. That would be really cute. It does have a little, I just see that now, a little crack there on the bottom. So, you know, something to display in it. I could put a plant on top of that, who knows. I just thought that would be really adorable to have in my home. Super dusty, so I'll have to clean that off. But that is all I got. I did not want to overdo it and get too much. I wanted to just keep it minimal. I'm still looking for some more vintage plates, like collector's plates, always looking for um, cast iron and pitchers and ironstone but i just struggle to find that in our area but anyways hope you enjoyed this hope you enjoyed coming along to my goodwill and seeing my haul if you like these videos give it a thumbs up and i'll be coming at you with another video later this week right Bye.